Hello students, welcome to Ariser Talent. I am your maths teacher Arpita Sharma. Okay, so in previous class we were doing some exercise time. Okay, so we have done that first question. P x equals to x square minus three x square plus five x minus three. We have to divide this by x square minus two and find out the question ten remainder. Okay, now the second one again the same thing we have to uh, we have to find the question ten remainder. Okay, let's start our chapter chapter number two polynomial. Okay, so now we have p x equals to mm -hmm, x to the power four minus three x square plus four x plus five and g x that is equals to x square plus one and minus of x. So this is very good. It's you know in the standard form, but it is not. So let's change this. Okay, and do this like x square minus x plus one. Okay. <coughs> Now as asked in question, we have to divide. So we will write x to the power four minus three x square plus four x and plus five here. Now we have rearranged it. So x square minus x plus one. No. Now what we have to do next is we know very better x to the power four divided by x to the power. Two highest power here divided by highest power here. Okay, so divide both term, and you will get x square here. Now do what? Multiply this x square by this term. X square multiplied by x square will give you x square four. Right? Okay. Now x square multiplied by minus x will give you minus x cube. Write it. Uh mm huh. -hmm. But I am not having. Any term of cube here. So, for my convenience, what I do, you can also try this. I write I write here x to the power four, then some gap, and then I write. Minus x uh, minus x square here. Okay, so now I'll get x to power four here. Then minus x multiplied by x square that will be minus of x cube. You know, don't get bother uh, bother by uh, whether you are having this cube term here or not because at the end what we have to do we have to subtract it. So okay, this term will be here with a change sign. Okay. Now plus x square. So write it here. Now change the signs. Now cancel out plus of x cube. I write it like as it is. Okay. Now minus of three x square and minus of x square. Minus of x square. Okay. Yes. Minus of X square and minus of three x square will give you minus of four x square. Okay, plus four x and plus of five like this. Okay, now coming to this, this is x cube and this is x square. So 
x cube by x square will give you nothing but x. So, you will write plus of x here that will give you x cube. Okay, minus of x square and plus of x will be getting then minus mm -hmm, plus minus. Can cut this. Okay, now minus of 4x square and plus of x square will give you 5x square. Now plus 4x minus x that will be plus of 3x and plus of 5. Now x square and x square. Okay, so 5x square divided by x square will give you 5. 5, okay. So, write 5 years, simply multiply these terms. Okay, 5 of x square minus of 5x plus of 5. So, this will cancel out, this will cancel out and this will become plus. So, you will be getting plus x. Note this. Okay. So, 8x is remaining. Let's cross check it. Minus x. Okay. Now, here. Right? Mm -hmm. Plus of x square minus of 4x square will give you minus of 3x square. Okay. Now, it will give you plus of 3x and plus of 5. Okay. Now, it will be last, huh? Minus of 3x square and x square. This will give you minus of 3. Okay. Minus of 3. Now, that will be minus 3x square. It will be minus 3x plus 3x. And that will be minus of 3. Now, it will become plus, it will become minus and it will become plus. So, cancel, cancel and you will be getting 8. So, 8 is your remainder. So, in this particular second, we have our remainder as this is complete cut. This is a complete cut. Now, plus 5 plus 3 will give you 8. So, your remainder your remainder or you can say r of x is what simply 8 so in this question you are asked the question and the remainder so for second for px qx we have find out qx is equals to x square plus x minus 3 and remainder rx is what? Simply 8. Okay. Note this question. Okay. I am rubbing this. Now, moving forward with our next question. We have done sufficient questions on this pattern. So, now you have to do it before me. Okay. x is power 4 minus 5x plus 6. This is our px. Okay. And gx is given 2 minus x square. So, First, we will write this and this in standard form. So, gx will be minus of x square plus of 2. Now, here it is already in the standard form. Okay. So, 
let us get started x to the power 4 minus of minus of 5x plus of 6 ok. Now we have minus of x square plus of 2 again the same procedure it will be like x to the power 4 divided by minus x to the power 2 that will be give you that will be giving you minus of x square minus of x square. Now minus of x square multiply by minus of x square plus 2 will give you nothing but x to the power 4 in minus then again minus of 2 x square right. So you will be writing minus sorry it is plus huh? Pl minus and minus is plus ok. So it will give you x to the power 4 minus 2 x square. Ok students, now you will change the sign, change it, it will cancel out that will be 2x square as it is minus 5x plus of 6. Now x square and minus and 2x square that will give you 2x square divided by minus of x square this is 2 ok. Now, right, we are having only uh, minus sign also here, so we will write minus 2. So, what will it give you? Plus of 2x square, then minus of 4, ok, it will minus and it will be plus. Cancel out and the remaining is minus of 5x plus of 10. Now, you have seen that here the degree highest degree is 1 and here the highest degree is 2. So, here degree has been extended from the degree of your remainder. So, you will stop the process here. Note it. Okay, students. So, in this question, in the third one, your quotient will be minus x square by 2, sorry, minus x square minus 2 and your remainder will be minus 5x and plus of 10. Note it, I am rubbing this. So, enough of this kind of question. Now, change the type. Okay, and do some more questions, right? Check whether the first polynomial is the factor of the second polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by first polynomial. So, it is a first polynomial, okay, and it is a second polynomial. What it is saying that divide this by this, okay, and Tell us whether it is factor or not. If it is a factor of this, then you will get 0 in remainder, right? And if you are not getting that 0 in remainder, that means the given is the not factor of the other, right? Okay, let us do this. Here we have given Px equals to plus 3t cube minus 2t square plus 9t minus 12. Let me recheck 2t raised to power 4 plus 3t raised to power 3 minus 2t square minus 9t minus 9t minus of 12. Okay. So, let us start dividing this 2t4 minus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12 by t cube minus 3. Okay. Now, 
again with the same formula, same formula we are having 2 to 2t uh, raised to power 4 here okay so we'll be getting 2 and t okay 2t4 divided by t cube that will give you 2t now 2t multiply by t cube minus 3 that will be giving you 2t raised to the power 4 minus 6t right so write it here 2t raised to the power 4 minus of 60 here okay change the signs cancel out minus of that's plus of okay so plus of t t cube minus of 2 t square minus of 90 and minus of 90 and plus of 60 will give you minus of 3 t plus 12 here now 2 t cube and t cube so cube t cube t cube will cancel out and will be having 3 here so first okay will be dividing it by plus of t now that will give you 2t multi, uh, sorry t multiply by okay students so now we will write 2t raised to power 4 plus 6t cube minus 2t square minus 90 minus 12 by this term t square minus 3. So, we will get 2t uh, raised to power 4 divided by t square that will be giving you t square now write t square here you will be getting t raised to power 4 minus of 3 t square ok students now change the signs ok multiply this by 2 also because it is 2t so you will be getting ok now this will cut right 3t cube here plus 4t square here and the remaining minus 90 minus 12 ok now again t square here and 3 t cube here. So, it will give you what? 3 t ok. Now, you will write plus of 3 t here and multiply these two ok. Now, you will get 3 t cube minus of 90 divided ok now change the sign this cancel out this will cancel out 4t square minus of 12 here now 4t square divided by t square will give you 4 ok so what will be the next it will be 4 ok now 4t square that will be minus of 12 so change the sign cancel out cancel out remainder is 0 and i have told you if the remainder is 0 in this case we will we will we can confirm that this is the factor of this so 
we have seen the remainder is 0. So, we can simply say that yes, t square minus 3 is a factor of 2 t raised to power 4 plus 3 t cube minus 2 t square minus 90 minus 12. Let us move to the next question. Note it. Okay, students. So, next question is x square plus 3x plus 1 is 1 factor. Okay. And the other factor is c x is to power 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. Okay, 3x square 3x is to power 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. Okay. Now, we will start the same process again, x square plus 3x plus 1, okay. minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. Now, repeat the same process that will give you 3x square, okay. So, what will it become? 3 x to the power 4, then 9 x cube plus 3 x square. Now, change the signs minus, minus, minus. That will cancel out, okay. Now, this minus 9 x cube and plus 5 x cube will give you 4 of x cube that will give you 7, 11, okay. That will give you minus 11 x square. The remaining is here, okay. Now, you are having 4 x cube here and x square here. So, what you will uh, be doing? You will be having minus 4 x square here. So, you will be putting a minus here and multiply it by 4 and x, okay. So, you will be getting minus 4x. Now, this minus 4x multiplied by x square will give you minus 4x cube minus 12x square and minus of 4x, okay. Now, Change the signs, cancel it out. Now you will be having x square on like 2x plus 4x. Okay. Mm -hmm. That will give you 6x plus 2. Okay. Now, now you will divide this by, you will be getting 1 here. So, you will be writing x square plus 3x plus 1. Okay. So, you will be getting 10 here, okay. So, you will be getting 2 of x square here. So, you will multiply it by 2 only. So, as you multiply, not this, but this, okay. So, you will multiply it 
by 2 and we will get 2x square plus 6x plus 2. Okay. Now, change the signs and you will be getting a 0 again. Now, we have checked both the examples in which our final answer is yes. So, copy this. We are going to have one more example. Okay. Okay. So, let us rub this and have the third one of this also. So, the third question is here x is to power 4 minus x is to power 5 minus 4 x cube plus x square plus 3 x plus 1. Okay. And x cube minus 3 x plus 1. See this one, we have to tell whether it is a factor or not. Okay, so we will apply the same process here because two these questions are of same category, we will uh, be having remainder as 0. So, let us have the another one, we are having x to the power 5 minus 4 x cube plus of x square plus of 3 x plus 1 and here we are having x cube minus 3 x plus 1 x to the power 3 x to the power 5 so we will get x to the power 2 x to the power 2 so it will become x to the power 5 then it will become minus 3 x cube and that will become x square okay plus minus cut now this will become minus x cube now cancelling out so we will be having plus 3x plus 1 here now look minus here plus here minus so we will get minus here x cube x cube so we will get 1 here so multiply this with this will change what only signs it will reverse only signs so this will become okay now plus minus plus cancel cancel and remainder is 2. Now, what you will do when you will get any remainder in this case? If we are having any remainder, then we will say that no, this is not a factor of the polynomial. x cube minus 3x plus 1 is not a polynomial of this px given. Okay. So, these are three questions that you have to check. Okay, I am rubbing that. Note it. Okay, students. Now, moving to our next question. We are having. So, now we will be writing a question. Okay, so the question is find all the polynomials of zeros of Px equals to 3 x to the power 4 minus 16 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5 where 2 zeros of polynomial are
5 by 3 and minus that's not 5 by 3 actually that's whole root of 5 by 3 minus whole root of 5 by 3. So, we have given we have given the two zeros of polynomial this polynomial are minus 5 by 3 whole root and uh, and uh, root of 5 by 3 the, then we have to find the other zeros of polynomial ok. So, let us start first write the question 3x raised to power 4 minus 16 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5 ok. So, it is having root 5 by 3 minus root 5 by 3 as it is zeros. So, x minus 5 by 3 and x plus 5 by 3 are factors now that will be again a if these are factors zeros uh, if these are zeros of the polynomial we can write in this uh, write it in this form and it will give you uh, uh, eventually the form a square minus b square because it is a plus 1 and it is it is a plus 1 at uh, and it is a minus 1 so you can write this in a form x square minus 5 by 3 right. So, x square minus 5 by 3 is one factor. Now, I have already taught you that how to solve this kind of question. So, this is your homework you have to do by all your own and in the next class we will be solving some more questions, some exercises and we will end this particular chapter. Keep watching. Thank you.